That's the man I'm going to hell for. My Uncle Tony. Fuck all these normie countries. La Cosa Nostra. Wait, the South? Okay, wait, wait. Actually, we have to take it serious. The communist is who can go mafia, right? You guys told me about this. Is that correcto mundo? Is that correcto? That guy can go mafia, yeah? Let's fucking go. I gotta... I was trying to put on mafia cosplay, but I have no mafia. <laughs> I have this. I'm in the mafia. Nobody can see me in court. But that reminds me of the scene where it says take off the head, right? It's my head and I can do what I want. Oh, I'm gonna do so many Sopranos reference tonight. Woke up this morning, best song to play in a car when you feel bad as like Tony. I listen to it all the time when I go into my old hood, man. Every time like I cross the border into my old neighborhood, I always listen to this song. They're cynical as Tommy. Yeah, but they might have a focus read that leads to the mafia, you dumb fucker! You wanna sleep with the fishes? Yo, your Ramak sleeps with the fishes! Click! I'm gonna f put a fucking guinea pig head in your bed. Don't you have a suit you can put on? I have no suit. I have no suit. I got I got no mafia cosplay. Anyway. Let's play the fucking mafia. We're playing veteran. This is a new thing I like. Veteran is just a nice little tweak of extra, extra hard, man. And we are... We are... Becoming La Cosa Nostra. And today we turn to South Italy into our thing. Chat, chat, chat. You come here on the wedding day of my daughter and you ask me about my political opinion. You ask me to play with all of you and you ask me to watch your shitty link as an unsub. Look how they massacred my boy. Look how they massacred my boy! <laughs> this whole stream will only be Mafia references, man. Nothing else. Nothing else. Yeah. Make your score there. Tu parlo italiano? Si, italiano, no problema! Voglio mangiare! Piacere, signore! Any cool extras we should do? Any cool extras? There's so many fucking extras you can do in this mod. Did not, don't I have a pistol? So I, I can't show a pistol on stream, right? <laughs> Haven't seen the Godfather yet? Godfather is so overrated, man. Godfather is such an overrated movie, man. So, I don't think I touched everything, anything. I'm playing at a peace conference, this would be nice. Don't do extras, you're on the extra as this. <laughs> uh, I want to do peace conferences, player that. There's so many extras in this mod. Rise of the Imperium. The problem is all this extra stuff is super broken, man. I, I got fodder is a bit overrated, man. Wear a tracksuit like Mike Mikey Polmisi. Funny that you talk about Mikey Polmisi. I'm just re-watching season one of Prison Break right now, and Mikey Polmisi is in is in Prison Break season one, right? I don't have a tracksuit, man. I have no tracksuit, nothing. I'm super I'm the widest anti-mafia guy. Where's Play Rap Peace Conference, man? Mashallah. Halloween pictures? What the fuck? Peace conferences. Refuse to take any states in a peace conference. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's fucking go, gentlemen. Thank you. Hello, I'm Austin. Godfather is so overrated, man. It's a good movie, but not that good. Especially the second and third movie are fucking. The third movie is so boring. No, no, no. There's better movies than The Godfather. Good fellas, man. Good fellas. It's just ahead there, man. Good fellas is a bit ahead there. In-game path guide. <sighs> I am Don Giuseppe Di Vittorio. Hey, isn't Don Vittorio the name of the Don in the Sopranos? Wait, wait, wait. Sopranos, Italy, Don. Isn't his name Don Vittori? This is the episode and they talk to Don Vittori, right? As Don Vittori. Silvio Corrado. Guest starring here. As... Vittor Vittorio! Where's Don Vittorio? Don Vittorio. Alicia Skip Furio? Is that the guy? No, that's a, no. Where is that guy? Bobby Baklava? I guess, yeah. Don Vittorio! Don Vittorio! Hey! I know the Sopranos so well, huh? I'm so fucking good at the Sopranos. I need to put on the heater, man. It's getting cold in Germany. 
Don Vittorio. It's an honor. It's an honor, dude. I I love the Sopranos. I need I need like a blanket, man. I'm a little little bit girly here today. In-game path guide. La cosa nostra. How to get SRI. Ah, this is all the paths. Set the game rule for the faction you want to play before starting the game. Oh, I need to set the... Let me read that before I'm just oh, a, a, an autistic Muppet. Set the game rule to play the Mafia. And the Federation. Wait, what? Before starting your game as SRI, which is me? SR... Yeah. And, and the Federation. All Kaiser Redux SRI and Federation paths have one. Wait for a... Okay, okay. No one in chat told me that. I did, Tommy. You didn't read it. Have you seen Whiplash? Uh, we're talking about Mafia movies right now and not Whiplash. Come on. Can you watch the video at some point now? Laughing my ass off. What video? Core! Core! Core non grati! That's Junior singing on Lydia's funeral, okay? Guys, I don't think we're gonna have a lot of fun here together if you don't know the Sopranos, man. Irishman? Irishman is really, really good, but the Irishman has no quotes that you quote in 20 years. You know? That's the problem with the Irishman. You don't quote the Irishman, dude. Okay, country paths for... I need to unlock my mafia path. Major nation benefits. No, no, no. No benefits. We're like in America, man. Oh, God. What the fuck? New family head. Custom. Strengthen, strengthen. Game rules. Peace conference. Player primacy. Uh, extra bullshit gameplay foreign policy. I heard you paint houses. Your chat, your chat. Can someone say in chat, Tommy, you're late? Thank you. Please do that real quick. Eastern Europe. Wait, this is uh, Europe. <clears throat> okay. SRI is right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm a little bit way too new. Well, I can't be in time tomorrow, but you'll be stupid forever. Oh! Ralphie's line against... Against Paulie. Destroyed, man. Destroyed. Destroyed. Hey, hey, Chad. Hey, Chad. How's the kid? How's the kid? The one you're sleeping with. Oh! Tony Soprano against Mikey Pompisi. Season 1. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Thank you, Sunky Lore. Goddamn. Hey, hey, Chad, Chad, have they found a cure yet? For fuckface Sidus. Oh, Tony against Mikey Pomisi again, season one. Shit, man, we're gonna have a lot of fun here. I could have a whole stream just about the Sopranos, dude. Okay, it, it, uh, terrorism, SRI, wait, what? Terror? I don't understand. The Mafia takes power, holy shit, there it is. La Mafia take the power. But I need to do something here too, they said. I need to do uh, Federation too. Does anyone understand? It's set. No, if you want to make them become the Mafia. I just need to do this, right? The Mafia takes power. Anything else? Does anyone know? Thank you, Titan Rogue. Moin. <laughs> Thank you, Dully. How many of these do you remember, dude? Sopranos is the greatest thing of all times, man. I watch I watch the Sopranos literally every month, man. I just... Dude, my whole YouTube is just Sopranos clips, man. I just look at Soprano scripts all day. Where's my algorithm? Nah, my algorithm's fucked now, unfortunately. I fucked it over again with Christmas songs. But I just look at Soprano scripts all day, man. I'm currently watching Sopranos. Good guy, good guy. The guy. You won't believe this, Chrissy. The guy killed six in Czechoslovakians. He was an interior decorator. His house looked like shit. You guys have no idea what's going on because you suck. Watch the Sopranos, man. The fucking best fucking TV show all fucking times favorite episode oh it's a great question my favorite episode it's not pine barons like everyone says my favorite episode is um i don't know what the episode is when when the whole crew is in front of such for the last time everything is uh, happy and 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 the little carmine is having the car crash and everyone is going out oh what is she doing in the neighborhood and then the fbi comes over and pussy is like oh, i need to go that was my favorite moment I, th I like that episode when everything is still fine you know and then everything goes downhill so, chat, is this how you do it? The fourth Congress of the Social Republic of Italy ends with nobody achieving a majority. In the deadlock, the ma Mafia mafs marches on the capital and takes over the government. Requires old Italy restored in changes to Italy. What? Changes to Italy? Thank you, Real Watson. You can't find Sopranos anywhere? Dude, just watch, man. 
You have to watch Sopranos, man. If the one thing of all movies, TV shows, everything in the world, Sopranos is the best. Even beats Lord of the Rings to me, man. I could talk about it for ages. The Sopranos is utter art. Every every line, every item makes sense and has a story, man. It's too good, man. 20 years that the can. Did you know what that fat fuck Tony Soprano said about me? He said he looks like the Shah of Iran. Oh, fuck, Phil, man. That's kind of uncalled for. Anyway, um, Sopranos MMO. What, what I need to... Requires Old Italy Restored and changes to Italy. Old Italy Restored. It's not here. F future of Italian Republic. Federation. Changes? Where's changes to Italy? It's a Kaiser Redux game rule. What? You mean in here? No, this is the crazy stuff here. No, you're, you're lying. There's no old Italy here. It's bullshit. Where's old Italy? Where you did the peace conferences. Why would that be in there? It makes no sense. Why would that be there? Oh, changes to... Ah, okay. I have... Okay, I got it. Ah. Ah, Italy changes are normal game rules. Weird. So it's all good. I have the Mafia. And I have the thing. Fucking Sopranos, bro, man. But what is the best quote of Sopranos, though? Everybody knows, right? Everybody knows, man. 9-11, Iraq war. Did you know? Quasimodo predicted all of this. Quasimodo was the hunchback of Notre Dame. Nostradamus. Nostradamus predicted that. Yeah, yeah. Notre Dame. Best line, right? I agree. Yeah. You guys agree? Yeah, I like it. Thank you, pirate. Best line. Maybe the best line ever written anything ever, man. Let's fucking go, man. Is there a big difference between normal Kaiser? Yeah, Redux is like you took LSD, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm just googling Sopranos quotes. I don't know them, though. It's good to be in something from the ground floor. I came too late for that, and I know. But lately, I'm getting the feeling that I came in at the end. The best is over. Ah, oh, that's Tony at the at the in the psychiatrist, man. And the thing where he talks to the psychiatrist about the, about the mafia, dude. I'm just gonna completely shun you guys for Sopranos quote. Tony talks about the mafia, dude. I I I I'm such a fan of the shit. Where's that scene where he talks about Italians? Tony talks about Italians. He, like, explains that the Mafia is not even that bad. Ah, I can't find the scene. Yeah, this scene, man. This one is so good, man. You feel they're persecuting your uncle? He runs a sports book. The government's pissed off because they don't get their cut, so they make what he does illegal. If it was a slice of Wonder Bread like Steve Wayne, it'd be okay. So this is because he's Italian? Well, you don't think there's prejudice? Look at this shit with Columbus now. The Dutch were the worst of the slave traders. With them, it's all tulips and wooden shoes. We got one guy we can be proud of, and they let the Indians shit all over him. The Native Americans have valid issues. This is a democratic country. They have the right to free speech. They denigrate Columbus. You're Italian. It's okay with you? Democracy is often a messy thing. Actually, isn't there... Isn't there this legendary video, man? Um, Sopranos? Uh, 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 mi mix. No, no, no. There's this legendary video I watch like once a month. It's with Wonderful Life, this one. Legendary, man. Four years ago, one of the biggest Sopranos videos, man. This is my favorite video on YouTube. I watch this like once a month, dude. Thank you, Walter the Kale, man. This video, man. Dude, you know, back in the day, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this on stream because you guys don't care. I don't give a fuck anymore, man. You have to watch Sopranos, man. It's the greatest thing you will ever see in your entire life. And if you if you think the Sopranos is bad, you're just a retard, man. You, you you need to fucking just live in a home for the elderly, man. Thank you, Walter. They say that sometimes we Goddamn. Feeling pity for ourselves. The sad thing is, man, you, you know, this is for me the biggest TV show of all times. And I'm watching it like once a year. And the point is, the characters, the real-life actors, are slowly dying out, man. And that is so scary, dude. When I was watching this 10 years ago for the first time, like 20 years ago, 20 years ago, actually, 2001, kind of. Uh, no, I was too young then. I watched this 10 years ago, I think. Uh, they were all alive, and now they're all, this guy's dead. Everybody's fucking dead, bro. But behind our back, a great wind is carrying us. Ah, oh, man. 
Uh, dude, I, I generally will even say, man, at least I hate when I say this, but I say this. I often say for many years now, my goal in life is to be a good Tony Soprano. That sounds really weird, but people that love the Sopranos, there's a lot of people, man, like big YouTubers, like Cooking with Babish from Sample, Sample is a big fan. Uh, we, we all want to kind of be like Tony Soprano, but without the evil, you know? I, I don't know, man. He's such an... You have to understand that Tony Soprano is the bi the first anti-hero of television history, the big one. Uh, Vince Gilligan, the maker of Breaking Bad, the maker of Breaking Bad, once said, without Tony Soprano, there will be no Walter White. You have to respect that shit when even Vince Gilligan says that shit, dude. He was the first anti-hero, someone that you rooted for, even though he's pure evil, man. And that's that's beauty, man. I am going for hell for Christopher Montesanti, man. Michael Imperioli, man, he won an Emmy for that shit, and uh, he said... When he got the Emmy, he said something I will never forget, man, which was, which was beautiful. He said, if this is the best thing I've ever done, you know what? That's okay. I love that, man. He's like, you know, society is like, oh, you didn't have a good acting job in 10 years. And he was like, bro, if this is the best, biggest thing, then so be it, man. I can die happy, dude. To see you Richie April, man. Rita. What an actor, man, Chris is. Like oh, shit. Can I show that? Pull. It's something. Who rooted for Walter White, though? Well, everybody rooted for Walter. What is kind of question is that? I have seen every episode of this Palms podcast. I will even rewatch it. The, the Raven, dude. What a great scene when he was made. You know it feels oh, man. This is the greatest shit of all times, man. Also, one thing about The Sopranos is, right? It's the fucking most depressing show you will ever watch. The first two seasons is, like, funny. But the developer is such a genius. Uh, the, uh, 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 David Chase. David Chase is a fucking genius, man. And he wants to show the audience what the mafia now nowadays really is. It's depressing. It's just a bunch of thieves and assholes. And it gets so depressive, man. And it's just sad all the time, dude. Is <sighs> Not in the eyes, okay? He just died. He, This man... Uh, Tony Sirico, in the beginning of Goodfellas, you can see him, they literally call him Tony Sirico there by Ray Liotta. He died on, uh, uh, 8th, 7, the day my kid was born. He died when my kid was born, bro. My kid is poorly walnuts. I'm fucking telling you. True fucking story, man. I remember he was born, I checked my phone, and they said he just died in a home for the elderly, man. Legendary guy, man. His life is fucking insane, dude. If, a lot of you guys have probably no idea who this is, man, but his stories are insane. Up straight in the sunshine. What, a, what a scene, dude. It's a big spoiler, but if you still don't know, man. That's the final episode, I think. Ah, what a show, man. Tony Blondetto, Edmund Blondetto. He, he made everything go down, bro. It was his fault that New York was killing New Jersey. Oh, I don't know if I can show this stuff. It's a TV show, though, right? You got no fucking idea what it's like to be number one. This is when he talks to Silvio. Affects every facet of every other fucking thing. It's too much to deal with, almost. I didn't mean Pussy, man. Richie, Richie, Richie Peel? Yeah, Richie. This scene is legendary. I show you an Easter egg right now. I show you an Easter egg right now. Massive. That shows why Soprano is the best. When Tony Soprano gets shot and falls into a coma, he has dreams in his coma. There, he has dreams where uh, Steve Buscemi, aka Tony Blondetto, is calling him into a house. Come to the house. Everyone is there. But the house is actually hell. It's a trap to get him into hell. And I show you right now a crazy Easter egg. Many, many people don't know. I can talk. I can tell you all the Easter eggs, man. Watch this. Watch this Easter egg. One sec, one sec. One sec, one sec. Watch closely, man. I show you the biggest Easter egg of Sopranos, man. Even though there's more with the free clock, right? Wait, wait, wait. Now, three, two. Wait, no, that makes no sense. No way, no! No, what the fuck? She doesn't have a demon face. No, 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 no. Kevin Finnerty demon face. Wait, what? She must have the demon face. No, 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 no. Sopranos demon face. No, 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 well, fuck off. Hey, my, my life is f falling apart. Sopranos demon face. There's an Easter egg where that girl has a demon. No, here's the demon. Yeah, it's the... Yes. What the fuck? I don't understand. 
when Tony has the dream, when he's in a coma, this house is representing hell. And if you stop the Sopranos at the right time, you see this demon face. But it was never a demon face. Who is this woman? Whoa, this is deep shit. This is deep shit. This is very deep shit right now. This is in Tony's coma. He sees a demon. I disagree. It's an older woman in a brown dress. I always thought that's a demon. I didn't know. I got fake news. It was not a demon. That is wow. After 10 years. After 10 years. Oh, God. But who is she? Who does she represent? Why is she in Tony's dream? What? That's mind blowing. It's the Mandela effect. What's the Mandela effect? Oh, my God. 10 years ago, I, I was on Reddit. I, I read, yeah, but who is she though? The thing with Sopranos is everything makes sense to Sopranos. Everything has a meaning. But why? Who does she represent in Tony's dream? I really wonder. I really, that's, that's not Olivia. Is that supposed to be Olivia? Sorry. Dude, that's, what well, my mind was just blown. I'm the biggest fan of this and I just fucked up so hard. Dude. It's when you have a memory of something that never existed. Oh. It's his mother. But I still believe it, it, it is it is death in hell, right? The house. Like, they want to lure him in. But the Meadow's voice is trying to call him back. Does anyone know what I'm talking about, actually? Oh, man. I loved, I loved you! Oh, man. This is, uh, this is uh, the baptization of his son. Of his daughter. And then Chrissy died, man. Johnny Sack, he dies of lung cancer. Don't smoke, guys. Man, you, you have to watch this, guys, man. You have to watch this shit. Adriana, man. She was a snitch. They had to do it. What do you think of the ending of The Sopranos? I think it's the most genius ending of all times. I genuinely believe that The Sopranos ending is the most genius high IQ thing ever. I genuinely believe if you don't get it, you haven't been paying attention, man. It is crystal clear what happens in the end. It's crystal clear. It has, uh, how many seasons? Eight seasons, I think? I don't know. Were there also demons in the end? Shut up. Three o'clock, guys. Ah, oh, the Russian guy. What happened to Furio? I, that, that's hell. That, that's just, this is where he goes to hell. What happened to Furio? Uh, this uh, this uh, uh, actor, Federico Lagunta, or uh, what is his name? Fred he, he made a painting that I want to buy one day. I showed this many times. Uh, uh, the, the Duke of Cumbria Sopranos. He made this picture. I don't know. Where's the Sopranos one? This one. This actor... Uh, very intelligent man, RL. He's a painter, and he painted this picture, which is Romasho, the Duke of Cumbria, legendary, um, legendary picture in 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 uh, I think Firenze, and it represents Camilla and Tony from uh, from um, from uh, the Sopranos, and was paid for 175k ten years ago or something. I remember ten years ago or some shit. Yeah, ten years ago. I think this is now worth 500k, man. And I always said to myself, if I would ever be Infinitely rich, which will never happen. I will totally buy this. It's a private uh, uh, property right now. But uh, to me, that's the coolest picture on planet Earth. If I was ever a billionaire, which will never happen, I will totally buy this, which is probably unpayable nowadays. He painted that. This is hell. Yeah, he goes to hell. Ah, man. I missed this. I have to rewatch it tonight, bro. I gotta rewatch this. Good times, man. Have a fucking drink. I've been designed. You push me to this. You push me to this. I never want to see you again. That's his mom. Ah man. Play CKV, Tommy. Let me uh, just promote Ben real quick. This is you, you don't you don't disrespect the pizza parlor, okay? You dumb cunt. Ah, good times, man. Um, wow, she was not a demon, bro. She was not a demon. That is insane. She was not a demon. Bro, what the fuck? That is... That blew my mind. Don't disrespect the Bing, bro. And not the pizza parlor. Where can you watch Sopranos? Every country is different, man. Do you recommend the Sopranos? Are you stupid, Sebastian? As a younger! What am I saying every fucking 10 seconds? 
What do you think? I'm funny? I'm a clown? I amuse you? What the fuck is so goddamn funny about me? Anyway, how you doing? So yeah, uh, guys, watch The Sopranos, man. The greatest thing you'll ever watch in your life, man. You need to be, you need, you need a bit of IQ, though, in my opinion. If you're a bit of a dumb fuck, man, you're not really gonna get it. Let's go, Lolo. Let's make our own Sopranos, man. I could talk about Sopranos all day long, dude. Every day. Somebody sent me a quiz. Somebody sent me a Sopranos quiz. Not, not a crazy ultra hardcore one. Come on, I got this. Send me a Sopranos quiz, guys. Come on. You just spoiled everything for us. Dude, it's 20 years old. Check out The Wire. Yeah, The Wire is great, but doesn't beat The Sopranos, man. Come on. Come on. Please stop, Lolo. Shut up! Shut up talking shit about Sopranos, man. I'm dead serious, man. Okay, here we go. Let's do let's do the quiz. Easy. How many episodes are there? Scheiße, what? No one fucking knows this. This is this is like dumb shit. What kind of dumb questions that? It's something with eight. It's not ninety two. Yeah, I knew it was something with eight. That doesn't count though. How how was Cell Big Pussy Pantera flipped by the FBI? He sold heroin. He sold heroin. I don't even need to see the answers, man. I don't need the answers. Alekha Sacrimoni, John Sacrimoni's daughter, is in reality the daughter of which cast member? Uh, 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 Ginny, Ginny Sack, Ginny Sack. What? These questions are fucking dumb. They're not about the lore. It's about real life cast. No, I need, I need lore questions. I need lore questions, not real life questions. How many episodes? Lore questions, please. Sopranos only 9.5 out of 10. Ah, they're dumb. Bullshit. Sopranos is next to Lord of the Rings and Breaking Bad, the greatest thing the human race has ever done. I need lore quiz, lore quiz, lore quiz. Okay, basic opener. What do you think of House of Cards? Yeah, good, all good, but not on Sopranos level, man. Member only jacket? Member only jacket. Very important in the final scene, my brother. Very important to know what's going on. <sighs> Thank you, Ollie Ong, man. What's your top three favorite TV shows? Where can I watch Sopranos in uh, Deutschland? Uh, wow, uh, 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 wow, Sky. Sky has uh, Sopranos. HBO is with Sky in Germany. Uh, Sopranos is... The, the point is the Sopranos made Breaking Bad, kind of. Okay, the first episode was 97. Final. This is once again real life shit, man. I'm telling you, I need law questions. Hey! Marone, what are you doing? Come on! I need law questions here, dude. Okay, watch this. Easy, watch this. So we got this. One sec, one sec, one sec. Psht. I got this. There's no way I fuck up, man. No way I fuck up. I need music, though. So, let's shut up if you're fucking... Mind okay. We should follow people that not know Tommy when he was in high school. So... Dr. Jennifer Murphy, obviously. That's a bit of a shit question. They, I don't know who Davy Scantino is. I think that's the guy who later owes him money. Artie, obviously, the cook, his wife. Jennifer Murphy, obviously. Guys, if, if my score is less than 90, then give it. Yeah, this is kind of an easy quiz, though. Uh, they obviously went to Napoli. No, uh, where his ancestors come from? From Avellino, his his uh, his uh, his uh, grandfather. He he had an accident on the road. Yeah, that uh, is an easy one. That's easy, man. What are Tony's two sisters' names? Um, Janice, obviously, and the black-haired one is a Barb. A Barb. Uh, so uh, Barbara, Janice and Barbara. I don't even know the answers, man. I do this without the answers. Watch. I'm not looking at the answers, man. It's too easy, dude. I'm not looking at the answers. When Tony was a young man, he and his close friend Jackie Priel Sr. made a statement when they robbed the notorious mobsters. Feech the mana, feech the mana, feech the mana. Don't even need to check that. Feech the mana, easy. Next. Don't need to even check that. Easy, man. 10 out of 10. What is the name of the retirement community? Uh, Grove. Uh, uh, Green Grove, Green Grove, Green Grove. Easy, man. Easy, easy, easy. Next. What you got? Come on. What is Tony especially fond of during the show's run? Horses? Animals? Yeah, animals, animals. Okay. Easy, man. <laughs> this is too easy, man. This one is too easy. Next. What does Dr. Melfi prescribe? A Prosec. We're playing Hoi for a sec, guys. I'm just reading in Sopranos mode here. Which of the following men is Tony's conciliage and top advisor, right hand man? Well, Silvio Dante. Yeah. Later, it's actually. Um, it, it's it's Paulie, yeah, and Bobby is the third. Yeah, this quiz is too easy. Which of the following men gets into physical alteration with Tony and lives to tell the tale? Uh, Bobby Baklava. Bobby Bacchialeri. Ah, easy, man. <sighs> this is way too easy, man. Final question. 
What is the name of the restaurant that Tony's family, uh, Vesuvio? Yeah, dude, don't even. That was. Oh, in the last scene. Ah, uh, that doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. It even says easy. Is there a higher level? Is there a higher level? Guys, I didn't read the whole thing. Shut up. Dude, Holstein's is in New Jersey and it's super fucking uh, uh, famous nowadays. If you go there, there's a seat for James Gandolfini, which you're not allowed to sit on. I would like to go there one day. One of my big dreams in life is no joke, man. As you see, I'm a massive fucking fan of Sopranos, man. If you go to New Jersey in real life, there's a Sopranos tour where a guy drives you around and shows you all the locations, man. I really want to do that one day. Guys, is there a harder one? Come on. Hot Sopranos quiz. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm totally hyped right now. Impossible Sopranos quiz. Ooh. Barbara. Which oscar animated actress appeared in the test? What kind of... What the fuck is this bullshit? This is not... There's nothing to do with Sopranos, bro. Monkey didn't read? Fuck reading. 20th anniversary Sopranos quiz. Tony B is a great masseuse. Yes. 150, Aldo. Uh, that's pretty fucking crazy. Jesus. Greatest show of all time. Todd, I like you. I like you. Oh, I don't know this one. Oh, I don't know this one. It's this or this. I don't know, man. Okay, good, good, good. Final quest, guys, and then I, I play her for. Sorry, I'm just too into this, man. Christopher is a recovering uh, alcoholic. He's not really recovering, though. Hey, he's an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Goodbye, her for. Shut up. What's the name of the scam Tony runs with? Zalman that finds them buying Ruffles property. It's... Oh, ah, that is a hardcore quiz, man. That is hardcore. You know, I have this dream that one day I know the most about Sopranos on planet Earth, but there's crazy people. There's a podcast and there's a guy who knows everything, man. He's like a fucking... Uh, uh, he's like a fucking historian of Sopranos, man. Ooh, it's... Mm. Hot, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Advertisement? Fuck off, you dumb fuck. Carmela is terrified. Meadow wants to attend which school? Berkeley. I'm very sure it's Berkeley. Yeah. She wants to go to Berkeley and they don't want that. They want her close to New Jersey. Who tries to kill Tony? Uh, well, both. Well, uh, his mom, but obviously Junior. They have the fight in season one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Carmine tells Tony, a Don never wears shorts. Is that actually a real line? Because this is a, I have I have a trivia for you guys. Uh, when Michael Perioli was at the... Um, he was in a late night show in... Stephen Colbert. He was in the Stephen Colbert show. And he said, do you have any cool stories about uh, James Gandolfini? And James Gandolfini once told a story before he died that one night his phone was ringing, right? He was laying in bed and his phone rang. And the voice said, Hello, hello, Mr. Gandolfini. Just one thing. A real Don does never wear shorts. It was the real-life mafia calling him, telling that they never wear shorts. Which apparently they put in the show. I didn't know that. It, that actually happened in real life. Which Sopano sector was not in Goodfellas? James Gandolfini. The rest is all in Goodfellas. Michael and Priority is playing Spider. Oh, Lisa is back. I have to go. Guys, I'm playing with 4, okay? I don't want to annoy you anymore. I'm, I'm getting Lisa get the baby real quick, and then we play with 4. I'm calming down, okay? I'm calming down. One sec. I'm calming down. I just have to get the baby real quick. I'm calming down. I'm calming down. I'm calming down.
Okay, was aus, mein Schatz, ja? So. Okay, Chat, I calm down. I'm done with the fucking soprano shit. As you can see, I'm very emotional about this shit. I just want to say to me personally. I mean, what what's a soprano soundtrack? Uh, to me personally, the sopranos is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life and probably will be until the day I die. And uh I just Let me put on the soprano soundtrack. Probably gonna get DMC open to hell, bro sick yeah and uh if i if you if i could ever influence you as an influencer is watch the sopranos man even if you don't like the first or second episode give it time um there's no way you don't like it because if you don't like sopranos you're just an idiot you need to fix your life and it's the greatest thing you will ever see in your entire life man easily ah sopranos equals mid nathan you are well, it's maybe not better than Pokemon. I don't know. Okay, gentlemen, we're playing Kaiser Redux. We're playing South Italy. I never played South Italy, dude. Uh, and apparently, I think I unlocked the Mafia Man. Uh, thank you, Topia King. Have you watched Succession? Everybody watches Succession. The funny thing about Succession is, man, that you there's no good character, right? There's not a single character you like. So I think I did this. How to get the Mafia. Set the game rule to the faction you want to play before starting the game. SSRI added that. Wait for April 46 to take the 4th SRI Congress focus and vote for a different party on each issue so the elections deadlock. If no one party receives a majority, the March of Napoli will happen. And the March of Napoli is either the Mafia or the Fascists or whatever. Cool. <laughs> it says cool. La Mafia. La Cosa Nostra. Is any real Mafia people watching the stream? Say me. What's like being a Mafia, guys? La Mafia. Oh, shit. This, this focus gives me the Mafia. The Mafia state. Oh, shit. The Mafia state. I don't want to spoil that. Oh, a lot of Mafia people watching. Holy shit. Economy. Okay, I can only take Army, Air, and Navy. Right, the Tiger. So many different focus trees. I probably will not get most of them because I'm playing the Mafia. Let's figure this out, man. My mom calls me Mafia. What, well, because you steal everything from her? But yeah, a guy was asking, what is my favorite free TV shows? And I think it's very easily, man. Um, rank one is Sopranos. Uh, easily followed, easily followed by Breaking Bad. I think, dude, I'm going this far. Certain things are so good that if you ignore them, you're just an idiot. For example, if you ask someone what are the best five movies in the world and they don't sell out rings, you know they're an idiot, right? And uh, Breaking Bad just has to be uh, closely followed. Uh, like, this is Sopranos and then Breaking Bad just a little bit behind. Because Breaking Bad wouldn't really exist without the Sopranos. And then number Breaking Bad is trash. You're just trying to be... A... What the fuck's your problem? 10-minute ban. You're just trying to be edgy, man. For attention. And uh, number three. And here's the thing. Number three could have been Game of Thrones. For me, if they wouldn't have fucked up. I love Game of Thrones, but it was so bad. And number three for me is, and no one ever talks about this. You guys always like to talk about TV shows and everything, but no one ever says it. Mr. Robot. No one puts enough respect on Mr. Robot, man. Mr. Robot is is utter art, man. What an unbelievable show, man. That is, like, I was so fucking in awe of that show, man. It, it blew my fight. A truce with the Mafia. Declare war on the Mafia. Well, I, how about become the Mafia? Any Prison Break lovers? I'm watching season 1 at the moment, literally, today. What fell off so hard? Mr. Rope did not fell off, man. Come on, man. Final season, man? The fucking opera episode? Where everything... Come on, dude. You didn't like Mr. Robot's writing? What? What? You can stop after season 2? Don't listen to these Muppets in chat, man. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess I assess the army first. In order to prepare for the reunification, we should assess the army and see about solving the issues relating to our military matters by taking off our pants. My name is Earl has unfortunately been cancelled, right? Prison Break. Ah, Prison Break falls off. Yeah, you only watch season one. I only watch season one, Prison Break. I don't watch season two. But Prison Break season one, man, is... I'm watching it literally right now, every night. And under the, under the blanket, I'm watching uh, Prison Break. I need to mobilize my economy. And we have... Um, uh, I think that means rice with uh, meat. Italy has been divided since the Civil War of 1920. Monarchists, socialists, republicans, and exiles glare at each other from behind their fortifications. In the face of this division, few are certain of Italy's swift unification. God willing, however, we shall reunite all Italians soon. 
I also have a question for you guys. Uh, what's the best Soprano season? I like season one because it's so happy still. Everyone's still alive and shit. Big fan of season one. Uh, season two also, man. Season two with Furio and stuff. Um, I really want to return to the World War One mod. I think the World War World, World War One mod is, is is so fucking good, man. I just I need to know which which nation has a good focus tree, man. We gotta figure it out. Okay. Well, let's fucking play. Everything is ready. Let's have fun playing the fucking mafia. Let's fucking go, Jad. Jad. I called you guys Jad. How you how you doing, Jad? Socialist Republic of Italia. With the defeat of France and then the fall of Rome six months later, an exhausted Italy was left at the mercy of the central power, seemingly destined to be organized into her old pre-unification states within an Italian federation. Just months after the humiliating announcement, enraged socialists and nationalists proclaimed a new Republic of Italy in Torino, and that all treaties signed by the House of Savoy were to be considered null and void. However, not so far away in Roma, federal militia mobilizzate. Austria's plans for United Italy was torn to pieces. You could play Chinese Civil War in World War I. Mm, we probably could do that. Yeah. As a civil war erupted, the Italian Federation gained seemingly unstoppable momentum. With other defeat almost certain, the socialist leaders left the nationalists to die and managed an invasion into Napoli with the best beats, with uh, whatever army he had left. With the historical region of Socialist Republic of Italy under the control of the workers and the French commune backing us, we were left in a period of deadlock, which eventually led to the ceasefire when the Austrians pulled out. After a ceasefire was declared in 1922, free congresses have come and gone, and revolutionary fervor has begun to change the minds of the peasants. Of course, there are some that would ruin our progress, but they could never be able to take control, right? Control! I might take. We will see. Uniting Italy. Viva l'Italia! I understand, man. Come on. Remind me of the ginger kid at the end of nothing new on the west front, except you have a beard. You remind me of my left little toe, because you're fucking useless and small. Uh, assassination of a Russian guy. Neo. <laughs> uh, Neo Sanfedisti activity. Nan. Recently, we have received several reports of Neo Sanfedisti activity. This reactionary militia has been plaguing us since the revolution began. The movement began after one or more radical militias led a controversial attack on San Giovanni Rotondo. Terrified of our revolution, these Catholic extremists banded together to form militias of their own and have been causing trouble in the rural areas ever since. The group seems to be incredibly disunited, only united by a leadership council that is otherwise powerless. Despite the mass of disunity, two men, Padre Renato Zigarotti and Dominic De Coco. Again, again. Dominic De Coco. Bravo, bravo. This, this stream will only be in movie quotes. Uh, shit happened. They're, they're Catholic uh, terrorists. We're playing Ireland here. Are you going to watch World Championship? <coughs> if you want a challenge in Great War Redux, play Ottomans or Ching. I just played Ottomans in World War One. That's pretty fun, man. Gorlami, Gorlami. What was the other guy? Dominic Di Coco? Something Gorlami and Antonio Magaretti. Antonio Magaretti. There are so many viewers that know nothing. Legacy of the Fascisti Siciliani. Oh no 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 bene no no bene no bene. Morgan Freeman was just in the World Championship opening. Wow. Yeah, that's not... I don't talk... I wouldn't want to talk about that. Cancer. The Fascisti Siciliani, the Lavoratori Sicilian Workers' League, was a popular socialist movement which arose in Sicily during the 1890s, gaining support amongst the poorest of the working class who were frustrated with class inequality and political corruption. The Fascisti demanded social reforms, and when these were not met, they began an outburst of strikes and rapidly spread throughout Siciliana. The Sicilian, uh, Lisa's mom was literally in Sicily last last week, man. The Sici I have like Sicilian, I have actually Sicilian products in my in my fridge, like uh, uh, meat and stuff from Sicily. The Sicilian peasants who fought and died for their rights are still remembered to this day. There's a lot of communists in Sicily. Hmm. Have you heard of the world? Uh, mostly wants to talk with Mussolini. Also, mostly of the Union of Britain has invited the chairman of the National Syndicalist, Benito Mussolini, to Birmingham to discuss the common ground between the ideologies. And the Riga Winter Olympics are happening. Dr. Ben. In April, I get the Mafia. And any real G in chat knows what song I have to play when the Mafia takes over. 
If anyone in chat can tell me what song you need to play when the Mafia takes over South Italy, if anyone in chat knows the song, I respect the shit, and that might even be a VIP, man. Not God for the team. Normy stuff. Normy stuff. Yeah, nobody knows. Okay. Ah, you guys are... I I'm probably too old, man. I'm too, I'm too deep, man. Ah, you tried, guys. I will show you when the time comes. Camicinere e volian exoduso. I think, man, actually, no joke. Next year, I want to start learning Italy when, when the... When the fucking, uh, nah, no one knows the song. I'm very, very disappointed, actually. Very disappointed. Very disappointed. You will see. Um, next year, I want to actually, me and Lisa, we want to start taking uh, Italian classes, man. I want to, I want to learn Italian. Like, for real, like, no joke. Like, literally, serious, going to class and doing the fucking papers and shit, man. Sono Tedesco, mi amore. The far-right militant camicere nere associated with traditional integralism is doing shit. The Legion gains power. Hey, can I can I see a power struggle somewhere? That's sick, man. I need the music. It's Italian? Wow, not a single person chat knows the right song. That actually very, very our grammar is a hellhole. But I want to learn how to speak in Italy, because I think in my life I will often go to Italy for vacation. I love Italy, man. It's, it's heaven on earth, and uh, I would like to be able to talk to people, like in a restaurant and shit. I just sent the link? Don't send me... What the fuck are you sending me, bro? I will show you the song. Man, I'm an old man, I can't teach young kids a lot. The number one song when the Mafia takes over, man. Come on. You will, you will learn, you will learn. Okay, let's build that sif, man. We can make cigars in there. Or prostitution, or, or gambling. The noble legion is awakening. Let's not give the legion power. Oh, yo, yo, yo. What the fuck is this? A hoifu discord? Bambu Italiano? You know, most of us are not geeks about mafia shit. Yeah, because you young kids grew up in a fucking generation of fucking pussy content. I was growing up with mafia movies, and we all wanted to be in the fucking mafia, man, because they were so cool. But then we realized the biggest mafia on earth is fucking politicians, man. Anyway, fascist opposition. Oh, the fascists are going a bit mad here. We have a lot of big power struggle in here, man. <sighs> the Great Berlin Stock Market Crash. Oh, shit. Good thing I'm South Italy and have no economy anyway. Oh, I only have the pizza. I'm 27 old grandpa. Some of not into gang lovers. Some of... You're not also in, in grammar, huh? I found the song. I'm not clicking any one of your fucking links. My dad watched Soprano six times. I told him Godfather is better and he beat me up so hard. Good, good. That's very good, dad. Oh, here we go. It is rumored that Ebola has expanded his high secrecy society, the infamous UR group, which according to the government documents is devoted to discovering arcane knowledge and is managed by Arthur Regini. What? Thank you, Scepter. What? Uh, while more practical financial backers of Ebola have partially succeeded at confusing the public as to whether its existence is real or merely cynical slander, members, blah, blah, blah. Let's investigate them, I guess. I don't... I guess I... I focus on the... I don't... I think that it doesn't matter to me. I just need the election and then I need to get my... Reviving the Guard. Create the Red Army. Begin Army Resistance. I get 50 Army XP, though. That's pretty sick. And a 180 day debuff. Fascists are willing again. Let's not make the fascists more strong. I just need the election, man, so I can start doing cool shit. Oh, why can't I not take this? It's because I didn't support the Red Gods. Hmm. Well, army bonuses make sense, huh? I guess. So they'll create the Armata Rossa. Do I keep them when I go with the Mafia, though? I lose recovery rate and population, but I get 15% orc, which is insane. We shall forge a new, more professional army for the Republic. The Armata Rossa! It shall be a modernized and above all a professional army. Doing so, however, will require planning on integrating the Red Gods into the army. Okay. I've seen Bulldog Empire, but I quit on Season 1. Paradox says one of the worst Mafia games. Very, very true, bro. If you want to learn Italian, you should learn French since they're in the same... You're fucking retard. Leave my channel. Like, how? what the fuck is wrong with you? 
Hey, Tommy, if you want to learn Italian, learn French first. Are you the dumbest fuck to ever grace this earth? Holy shit, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, my God. It gave me a headache. Oh. Hey, man. You want to you learn Hungarian? You should go Finnish first. Yeah, yeah. Do Finnish first. Oh, that was the dumbest thing I heard all year, man. Oh. Oh. My. Woo, right, right here. Right here. Oh, I, I, I feel a really. I feel a pain. I feel a pain. Oh. Oh. Ah, what the fuck? You put that on me. With your. Oh, God. What did you do? Did you use Voodoo? What's your name? Valdemar? Piece of shit. Thank you, Pwn. Dude, fucking cursing me with his fucking witchcraft. That's what happens when you say dumb shit in chat, man. I fucking get fucking cancer in my brain. Opinion spotted. Oh, oh, oh my god. Dude, I'm not even kidding. It literally hurts. Opinion spotted. So let, let's, 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 one sec. Pause the stream. Tommy says he wants to legit professionally learn Italian. A guy says learn French first, which is obviously fucking retarded. If you want to learn a language, how about you learn that language first? Fucking idiot. And then another guy, a non sub called the Diamond TNTZ, oh my god, says thinks that I'm talking shit about his opinion and thinks he's funny saying opinion spotted. Alto, some of you guys are. Oh, that. Wow, Alto. Whoa, I'm seeing fucking lightning. I swear to God. Oi, oi, oi. Dude, man, the point is, if we have 1.2k viewers, man, there's a chance that some of them are come fucking retards, man. Like, legit. <whistles> meow, fucking gone, dude. Woo. Woo. Attempted murder of Donatello the from the Ninja Turtles. I don't want to lose stability. I just want that election so I can get the Mafia. Thank you, that guy. Thank you, man. If you want to learn Russian, learn the Zulu click language first. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn Russian... Jesus Christ, man. Oh, okay. If you want to learn Italian, I can teach you to speak fluent French. Hey, you actually made a nice joke out of that. I respect that. Ebola goes around. What comes around goes around. Fuck the Legion. I want the La Mafia. Peasants want more support. Okay. Rock Celts. As a... As a with all due respect from the bottom heart, no memes, sometimes I genuinely have to wonder if you guys are fucking dumb. I don't know what you mean, Tommy. I live in Germany for eight years, but I'm learning Dutch because it's in a similar language group. It helps me a lot. Oh, take away. Uh, let's just... Let's let's go shroud mode. Let's not read chat for a while. It just makes me want to fucking kill myself. That's a joke? You never know with this chat if it's a joke, man. You never know. That sounded very real. That sounded very real, man. The Pope just died. Okay, so we're playing the Mafia, man. In April, there's like events. Oh, fuck, I never even checked this. Let's get the Mafia first, and then I check everything. Democratic Coalition established in Mexico. Gallo seizes control of Ecuador. When is that Ecuador? Nah, I didn't want to talk about the World Cup. I'm just predicting Ecuador loses that, because they have been bribed. I need like a minute to recover here. Sometimes chat really gets to me, man. I, I just really feel like... How about you learn Turkish first? It's your original language. Every other language is just cheap copy. That makes sense. South Italian peasants are appeased. Nice. Nice, nice. So the Mafia should happen in like five minutes. Neo San Fedisti. Let's get the Mafia and then see what we have. Do you think I can order spaghetti at a French restaurant? That's actually an amazing question. I think you can. That is a great question. You can't. No, you cannot. I don't think so. That is a great question. Malta is with me, I guess? Oh, they're with Germany. No, they're with... Oh, they're Malta. Ludovico Cigi de la Rovera Albani. Dominic de Coco. Damn. Don't tell me he has a focus tree. Wait. Does this fucker has a fucking focus? Should I play Malta? The fascists are willing hard. Mm. Marshal Patton declares Marshal on Algier. The f 1st of April. 1st of April. Let's just wait for 1st of April and then I can take the Mafia. Do you still do one question for 5 subs? I have no questions anymore. 
So now you can just ask me questions for free again and make my brain go nuts. Okay, let's take the fourth. Filippo Torati has died. Um, no one reads that. Okay, the fourth Congress. With all the preparations finally finished, let us convene the fourth Congress of the National Congress. Men and women from all the Union across the Socialist Republic of Italy shall convene in Napoli to debate the future of South Italia. Well, that doesn't have a real focus, just a teaser. Ah, it's a teaser. Okay, cool. Can we watch feedback video now, Tommy? Fuck you. Cooking stream when? Soon, soon, next year, man. Lots of cooking streams. I've been in Tommy Kitchen for two years. Now I have only seen him in his red shirt and his iconic black one. Yeah, I only have these two things. Okay, now comes Mafia. There should be a march of the Mafia. La Mafia. And if you, none of you guys knew what the song is, man. None of you guys knows what the best song is to play when the Mafia takes over. The can't fair. I don't want to lose PP. Uh, let's give them some weapons, I guess, for political power. And now the Mafia should come. <sighs> Two shots is still more than another big streamer. Ooh. 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 I gotta demobilize my economy, unfortunately, now. I tried to... Keep it as long as I could. And here comes La Mafia. La Mafia. Mafia dudes becoming literally sovereign nation. Yeah, just like the USA did, right? So, Chad, what's your opinion about Donald Trump coming? Uh, why did Ritania falls to cynicalism? Sad. Okay, now I have to click on every party once. Today, the 4th Congress of the Great Italian Union begins. The various factions of the Congress will debate economic, internal, and military policies. The Unione Sindicalista seeks to push orthodox syndicalism, advancing the current policies of the Congress, while the Union Socialista Cristiana desire a government that helps the people and supporting Christian socialism. Meanwhile, Benito Mussolini's new faction, Unione Carbonara, advances the new ideology of uh, pizza fungi, advocating for absolute state power and aggressive military expansion. Hey, Mussolini sounds actually fun, man. Okay, now I need to click on all of them once. I need to click on all of them once. But first, let's go with Land Doctrine Italian Automobile. That's pretty good to have early, man. Minus 10 production on, on, on cars? We're making the Fiat, man. Brum, brum! Italians can drive for shit, man. If you ever drive into Italy, they're like... Mamma mia! It's crazy, man. The more south you go in real life, man, the worse they drive. What's the best Italian noodle dish, man? Everything, dude. I think, I think, dude, I, I told you many, many times. Many, many times, dude. This right here. Where's that video, man? This video is insane. Where is that guy? No, no, where's that guy? Here. Look at this, man. This is fucking insane, dude. Look at how he makes it look. He uses the, look, there's no fat on that. Oh, look, no fat, dude. You don't get that in the store. Three, that he makes it the, the the thing. Oh, look at that. Oh. Fats melt in sight. This makes me look cry, man. I'm not even kidding. Come out. This is why you don't have to use any oil at all. Probably one. Puts the fucking noodles in, dude. Back one more second. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so. Lovely trattoria at the back street. All those beautiful restaurants. All the mama used to cook. All those. The smell and every age. Me amor, the you smell. Of this fantastic carbonara. What a memory. Do you know why I'm... You, you will never see German be this hyped about food, man. That's why Italians are so fucking cool, dude. Show it, man. You ask me where uh. the cream? Here's the cream. There's the cream, Habibi. There's the cream. Uh, and parmigiano. What is that? Black pepper. Black pepper. That makes sense, yeah. Oh. Me amore mucho. Isn't that heaven on earth? Jesus, fuck, man. Gennaro. That's what. When I was young, I was watching porn. Nowadays, I watch, movie, uh, I watch uh, videos like this to get off. Not even kidding. <laughs> okay, where's La Mafia? I have to click on every party once. Enough tomato sauce. German food is just potatoes. Okay, I need to click on everybody. Poland falls to syndicalism. Mostly elected chairman. Um, I need to choose every party one. So I take radical socialism first. Radical socialism. Don't take it again. 
I could watch food videos all day. The problem is if you go food videos on YouTube, it's just a dumbass American bullshit, man. Look at this. Food porn. It's literally just Americans doing barbecue. It's nothing to do. Look at this. This is not food porn, you fucking... What is this disgusting shit? This is not food porn. This is disgusting. It's nothing to do with food. Nothing to do with... What the fuck? And that's what the people watch, man. Here, 5 million views. What is this? Here, 5 million views, man. That actually looks good. That actually looks good. Okay, that's actually... Oh, God. i never seen this before. But again, way too much meat. What is this? This is American shit, dude. Americans only have meat and barbecue. They have nothing else. That That's just fat. You're gonna get diabetes. That's not food porn to me. But that's why you can't Google food porn. Look, 5.2 million people think this is food porn. It's not food porn. It's cancer, dude. Any European, man. Any real European for how long? knows that this is cancer. Thank you, uh, thank you for the 500, my brother, man. Thank you, dude. Sure, barbecue is good, man. But if you fucking look at the rest of the world... What the f... This is cancer. Foodie. You're not a foodie, bro. You use pre-fucking made cheddar, dude. You want to see real cheddar? I can get one right now, bro. Fucking honey, so I get even more fat. This is not food porn. I genuinely believe that any Italian, any French, any Spanish guy in chat right now must be vomiting, dude. I just showed you real food porn, where Gennaro made carbonara. What is this shit? The music alone makes me want to fucking vomit on my feet. Oh, oh, we have stretchy cheese, man. Look at me. I'm a 5 million view video. I have stretchy cheese, man. I'm so fucking American, man. These fuckers put cheddar into anything, so it fucking stretches, and they think they're fucking cooks, dude. Thank you, Loisler. It's bullshit, man. Is that cheddar? This is nothing to do with cooking, bro. This has nothing to do with cooking. You Americans have zero food culture. I'm fucking saying it as this. What, that's your food porn? I did that when I was 11, bro. That's not food porn? Oh, we have stretchy cheese, guys. Take a look. Wow. Doesn't even stretch, you fucking loser. What are you gonna do now? You gotta put it in a lot of fat, huh? Let me see that shit. Oh, wow, he's frying meat. That's crazy. That's the point, Chad. What this guy is doing, everyone can do that. You can learn that in one day. It's no cooking, bro. And I'm dead serious, man. You can hate me for this. I don't think this is cooking, man. This is bullshit. At least, at least the salad. Hey. Look, it's just cancer. I don't get a fucking poop attack from that. Pure grease, man. That's why 6% of these guys are fucking overweight. And then they always do the shot, man. So everybody, all the Facebook dads at home. Wow, man! Oh, he's gonna make a waffle with way too much chocolate. Guarantee you, he's gonna put so much chocolate and shit on it, man. Guaranteed, man. Great football, man, really. Wow, ice cream, man. Who came up with that idea? You're a fucking genius, dude. Wow. I'm so toxic right now, but I feel for this. I'm protecting all these Italians in chat right now, dude. And this is food porn. Gets 5 million views. And you show real food, it gets like 100k views. How is that food porn? And once again, I, I, with all due respect, this needs no talent. You can do this yourself at home right now. There's no talent involved, bro. This is normie shit. And it's diabetes shit. Well, can, you, can we see more pictures, please? Okay, what do you got? Wow, you have two onions. Okay, sick. Oh, wow, you put cheese in your fucking onion rings, dude. Hey, if you ever want to be a big YouTuber, just make really disgusting food and upload it in America, man. You're going to get millions of Americans joking off on that shit. That, the point is though that this probably tastes very well. I'm not denying that, okay? This probably tastes great. But what's, what is the rest of cooking, bro? It's no culture in this, dude. Check out Bosnian food. Not right now, bro. You just have Chivapchichi, man. Thank you for the five. Thank you. Well, I have a stretchy cheese, guys. Take a look, man. This is a disgrace, man. Disgrace. And people sit at home, yeah, dip it in the sauce, girl. 
Wow, yeah. Yeah, show it 10 more seconds. Oh, wow, another burger patty. Can't wait to see a basic greasy burger, man. Watch the grease, watch the- What the fuck, sushi? What the fuck are you doing? That looks kind of... What? Why? Sushi with what? Dude, you're gonna get our arthritis from this. Dude, he even has a grease machine! You only have that in America! You show me a grease machine in fucking Italy. So I put the stuff in the fucking grease machine to make it more greasy. And then barbecue. Yeah, all, all about barbecue in America, man. If you don't eat two tons of meat a day, man, you're not a real American. Oh, and cheddar. Cheddar, man. The American flex should be a bunch of stars and a cheddar cheese, bro. Cheddar, cheddar, cheddar. I, I don't think I can watch this much longer, man. Main lobster. The music makes you want to kill yourself, right? I mean, it probably tastes great, man. But again, that's not that's not that's not food porn. If you know anything about food, you want to see food porn? Food channel. Subscribe, it is free. Let's cook it all together. Is in China. I show you food porn. That is food porn. That is hundreds of years of fucking. Show the pizza. You sent me the video without the fucking. You fuck you, whoever sent me the video. I thought you actually prepared it. You suck, man. You suck. You suck. Man, you suck. Whoever sent me this. Oh, God. I thought you actually prepared it so we can see the pizza. That is culture, you know? Oh, god damn. Whoever sent me that video, I hate you. Oh, I'm having a headache, man, from this. These fucking Americans. And then you watch Netflix, film if you'd film, and he has to make barbecue episodes because the Americans only watch barbecue episodes. Come on, man. Real fucking food porn is right here, man. This is... This is food porn. This right here. This is food porn. This is culture. This is people of talent. This is, this is once in a lifetime, people, man. 140 three-star restaurants in the world. No fucking greasy shit. A bunch of people that engineer stuff. They bring stuff together, man. They create. This girl is amazing, man. She survived cancer. That's the pizza guy from Italy. This guy is a genius, man. Look at this shit, man. This is next level stuff, man. Look at this shit. What the fuck? I want to see all these fucking. Uh, here's the cheddar. Here's the cheddar. There's no fucking. What the fuck was that, man? They're making meth. Jesus. Look at this stuff, man. That is the stuff. Who the fuck eats this? Only rich people? Yeah, but also they live a bit longer, okay? They live a bit longer. You fat fucks. I'm not saying this is like rich, whatever the fuck, but this is talent. And not. I make a bunch of cheddar on my meat, man. And I'm making stretchy lines. Fuck that. <clears throat> so I, I would have the first radicals. Now I get cynicalists and then totalists. And then I get the mafia. Hell, Tommy, I don't want to talk shit about you anytime soon. Play Dark Tide. Uh, Night stream tonight. Dark Tide. Night stream tonight. Okay, 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 where's that girl? There's this girl me and Lisa watch. Okay, you want to talk about real football? Where's that girl? Ah, uh, where's that girl? Ah, uh, there she is, Rose Mayo. So this girl, me and Lisa watch, uh, we watch this girl, because she just makes Italy stuff. Now, I show you real food culture, food that is passed down by generations. So this girl, she makes vlogs, right? Uh, we, we like watching her, because she only shows Italian food all the time, man. And she goes to her grandma once a year. And the grandma, this is the cannelloni, blah, blah. But uh, I want to show when the grandma makes food. I want to show when the grandma makes food. Look at that. That is food culture, right? This woman, this this stuff, I, I'm very simpy. If Italy was a girl, I would be simping hard. This woman 
this recipe was passed down by generations, man. And you know, there's some veggies involved, man. And handicraft, and not fucking, I'm putting the sauce in and the cheese, man. You know, look at this. This is food culture. And yeah, this isn't $200, man. You know, Barilla. That is the stuff, man. You know? You don't see no Americans doing shit like this. Look at that. Look at that woman. Look at that shit. Look at that, huh? Fuck yeah, dude. That is the stuff. Look at these hands. These hands have done fucking cheese for 80 years, bro. I'm telling you. Jesus Christ, man. Look at that stuff. Dude. Literally a bunch of cheese. Yeah, but this nonna is not gonna look at my look at my cheese strings and listen to my shitty fucking electro music to get five million views. No, no. This is the shit right here. This is normal in New Jersey? Well, I don't see it in the food porn videos, okay? Um, I think I can do that better, though, with all the respect. Once again, I show you food porn. I show you food porn. I, I show you food porn. You want to see food porn? I show you food porn. This is how you... Jesus. The fucking quality, dude. That's how you make food. The quality is so bad, man. I gotta step that up. Wait, is there cookies in there? Oh, I had cookies back then! Next month, next Sunday, we're making cookies, actually. Misa said today. Because it's the first of Advent. You know what that means in English? Advent? Watch this. Open it. Oh, this is to me crack. Oh, they're crack, man. They're crack. Anyway, I'll show you. Look, this is how it looks. You don't see no Italian food video. Uh, you don't see any American food videos like this. Look at that. The quality is very bad. Look at that. This is just culture, you know? Seasoning. And then the final result. What the what the fuck is this video, man? Alter, the quality is so bad. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Dude, I think... Hey, dude, 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 dude. Hey, chat, 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 chat. I might say the most arrogant thing of my entire life here. But. 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 Where is, where is it? So, so this is the pasta pie of an old Italian woman. And this is Tommy K's pasta pie. Now look, look. And with all the respect, I think I, I, I'm beating that shit. It's, it actually has stringy cheese. Dude, that shit but is it so deserves to have stringy cheese because there's you more the in it than... To make this evening perfect? You know? I think I beat that old woman on... That was stringy cheese though, yeah. But... But there was some cooking involved, you know? There was cooking involved. There was cooking involved. And then smooth round it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get another three in. Um, and then I'm going to show you the rest of it. Right, uh, as you can see, this is exactly how it is. I don't think... Is she Mimi? Is this a meme channel? Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is a meme channel, right? Uh, min uh, egg in the mincemeat, but um, I only got to see it when it was like this. So, um, what I'm going to do is pour some tomato on as he did it. Uh, now, this is food culture, it's still better than the fucking American shit, man. Save some. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put that this in is the literally oven the best food channel USA has, and it's on a meme. Because then, when they come out, then I've got to but put she's the British. onion in. And that's how, how I was shown. Your name is Kay. And now, as you can see, I peeled and uh, peeled and onion. Top and tail the onions. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them <clears throat> very thinly. She, she cuts like well, me. This is how I cut, man. Yeah, this channel is amazing, dude. Well, I've just what I'm doing. All over. We did. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is amazing. Is <laughs> what the, the fuck is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Elite is coming to the taste test. <laughs> yeah. That's actually very cute, I'm man. Sure. What oh, the fuck? Not. Is there food fail videos? I wonder. Messy food fails. Nah, it's just people feigning. Nah. Ah, sad. Can you do Italian food porn? Does that exist? It's just stringy cheese, man. It's just stringy cheese. 
It's all about stringy cheese, but that always looks so much better than the American stuff. Oh god, it's all about stringy cheese though, man. All her videos are food fail videos? It's like your thing? Chavetti pasta. Oh, they make their own pasta, man. Oh, wait, that, that's though, you have to... You will never see an American, or I want to also shit on Germans. You will never see German or American make their own pasta, bro. We actually have a pasta maker, but we only did it once, because we're too busy being actually efficient. Yeah, they make their own fucking pasta, dude. Look at this. That's so cool. But I have to say one truth, though. I have to say one truth. Self-made pasta often doesn't even taste that good. It's kind of like... Uh, you know, flowery and shit. I don't know. Time consuming, but that's what food culture is. You spend time making food. Westerners, like North Europeans, North Americans, we are so busy that we only do shitty food fast. Look at that shit. Bit much oil, my dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, yeah. Italians stole the meatball from Sweden. Is that Tracciatella ice cream? What the fuck is it? No, that was, that was, uh, uh, what is that called? What's that shit called? It's like this cream. Oh, you're an Italian and you act like a fucking American. Ricotta, ricotta. Yeah, you will never see that on American videos, bro. He's fucking shaking, man, because there's so much LSD in it. Pepperoni pizza. Nah, um, doesn't look that good. If you want to see good pizza, check out Netflix Chef's Table Pizza Edition, man. That's... That's crazy, man. Porchetta sandwich. Look at that bread, man. That is self-made bread, man. You don't get that shit in, in America. That is some bread, baby. Now you put the garlic over it? Ah, man, you take real garlic, you noob! <sighs> ah, this video's not good. I don't like this. This is this is 100% Italians in America or some shit. This is, has to be an American. What is the guy's name? I want to show you guys the best pizza baker in the world. Uh, Chef's Table Pizza. I want to show you him. This guy is insane, dude. Chris Bianco. Chris Bianco. Chris Bianco makes pretty much the best pizza in the world. Chris Bianco Pizza. I want to show you real food culture, man. That guy is a fucking god. Uh, arguably, this guy is the best pizza maker on earth. That guy's a genius, man. Uh, considered by most critics the best pizza maker on planet Earth right now. Yeah, from uh, Austin, Texas, I think. I think so. And look, everything handmade. And he, he studied for years how to make the nice dough, right? He studied that for years, man. And then he lets it breathe and shit. Look, I look at that, man. He knows what he's doing. Decades of training, dude. Imagine, like... Aziz Ansari, didn't he have like a fucking, uh, like he didn't treat women very nice or something? And if you watch this episode on Netflix, man, he was studying that for years. He did nothing else. He only studied pizza his whole life, man. And now he's considered the best pizza maker in the world in, in... I forgot the name of the restaurant, though. Look at that shit, man. Look at this shit. It looks so... Like an American would be like, there's nothing on it, man. But that's fucking Napolitana pizza. Look at that shit. And when he takes it out. Look at that shit, man. Oh, he burned it. Wait, dude, what are you doing? But that's that's a pizza, you know? That's a real... I feel like such an arrogant country. I feel like one of these rich white guys who's like, hey, guys, this is real pizza. Oh, the bottom is good, though. Look at shit. Yeah, we met Massimo Butura in Italy, bro, in his second restaurant. Can I show you guys Massimo Butura? Uh, uh, Lo Osteria Francescana menu. Uh, considered pretty much the greatest restaurant in the world right now. This is pretty much considered the best restaurant in the world. Most of the time. It's not ranked one at the moment. Modena is beautiful, man. And it's, it's, for many, many years, it has been the best restaurant in the world. And it, if you go there, like we went there because we're fans, it's so um, uncanny. It's we just a random ass road. Uh, very, very that guy's a genius, man. About food. That guy is so about fucking about sad. I want to see the food, though. Ah, man, I want to show the, st the stream the food. World's best restaurants. Modena. Modena is so hot, dude. Bene Modena. Bella Modena. Osteria Francescana. This is on the marketplace, yeah. You can't get much more Italian than Modena. 
in northern Italy. Modena is so sick, dude. It's the birthplace of Pavarotti, home to balsamic vinegar, tortellini pasta, and also. Lisa, can you bring me the balsamic vinegar real quick? Thank you. Some of the most I want to show it. It's this Maserati. He shows it in Chef's table. They even do Maserati there. The city is oh, Ferrari? In the Emilia Romagna region. This shit, man. It's culinary tradition. Heaven on earth, but it's so hot there, man. I could never live there. The, old town. the greatest restaurant on planet Earth, man. Pretty much, uh, 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 if you consider if you consider stats, like like Ronaldo has more titles, more important titles than Messi, for example. This one has the most titles. It's a three Michelin star restaurant that is challenging the way Nona used to cook. If you are passionate about something, you can transfer the emotion. Because you can feel it, you live. You see, you don't see no Americans saying this, right? I transfer my emotions of cheddar and grease into my burger. No, I mean, there's some good American barbecue places. You can see them in the latest episodes of Somebody Feed Phil when he goes to Texas. But this man, right? He lives what he's doing, man. And that's so fucking... How is that gay? How is that gay, you fuck? The guy's the greatest cook of all times, dude. With as much oomph and style. The guy studied his dishes for fucking decades, bro. As a supercar. You asshole. This I really want to go there, but you. Frances thank you, and uh, thank you very much, Lisa. And uh, as I just said, Modena, known as the capital of balsamic vinegar. Uh, and when I was there, we got one of the most expensive balsamico vinegars in the world from Giuseppe Gusti. This bottle is, I think, uh, 200 euros, I if I remember. And we never use it. We never use it. And it's heaven, dude. This shit is so... You, you have to eat to imagine it, man. And I hate... I have so many peasant... Uh, friends, right? When my parents come over or something, I'm like, you want to taste it? Want to taste it? No, I don't want to. This shit is. The... Oh. oh, you have no idea, Chad. You have to come to my house and smell this, dude. They put this on ice cream. Oh, I thought you you cannot imagine, dude. You cannot imagine. This is where your sub money goes. Uh, fucking crazy, dude. It's not a scam, you idiot, man. This one has been. This one has been aging. How long? How long have you been aging? Till 16:05. No. What does it say? Shit. But this one's like 15 years or some shit. Has been aging. You saw the baby? I wanted to go there, but you have to pre-order one year, man. One year. I think the food we create is like... A, a and uh, I, I, I want to share the stuff with you guys, right? And uh, the point is, look, look, everybody looks up to people. Some people, they like Cristiano Ronaldo. Some people like Taylor Swift. I love this guy, man. This guy is, to me, what I am for you, you know? Uh, this guy's a genius. Uh, we once were in the same room, room as him, and me and Lisa got so nervous, man. And this is where I'm a fan. This is where I'm like, oh, can I get a picture? Compression. These fashion. people are fucking... Is a crack hat? That's a, a you fucking children. Spectator. That's the his wife. The secret is From the US. keep a little space open for poetry. Yeah, for them, food is... It's, it's art, uh, and they just want to create art, man. I mean, this is, what the fuck? I kind of get, though, uh, watching this as a young guy, you're like, Tommy K, what the fuck? This is some rich people shit. But once you get sensitized for this, you realize this is fucking crazy art, man. You met him? He was in the same room, but he didn't talk to us. I was very sad. I prepared a speech and everything. But he always goes into the restaurant and says hello to everyone. My perfect dining experience, I just want it to be unique. I want it to give me something to think about. I want it to be delicious and soulful and thoughtful. What does an American food writer have to do with Massimo Gutura? Creative. Look at that shit, man. Something that shows me a side of food I've never seen before. And that's the point with fine dining. I, I don't want to. I don't want to come across as uh, Tommy has money now, but the point with fine dining is you literally have certain things in your mouth you will you never had before. It's like, like uh, when you turn gay. Um, it is. It is. And that's what I had to learn here, man. Your whole life you're eating, bro. Your, your whole life you're eating. And this shit... <laughs> too late. Uh, this shit blows your mind, man. It's it's something like you've never tasted before. It shows you the range of what is possible with food, man. He's only the co-owner? I didn't know that. Little pasta filled with pork and veal. So this is the dish that I grew up with. It's be so good, dude. But in the small 12 table restaurant he runs Only 12 with his tables, American man. Wife, Lara, but you pay like 500 euros, I think, for one night. Lovingly reinvented. Massimo has been obsessed with this idea of tradition and evolution. So if you have a full room, right? Let's say you have 12 tables. And let's be let's be chill, right? Every table 
So what he opens, I think, only on the evening. So let's say 12 people. Let's even be an asshole and say only two people come. Now, let's say they have two, uh, they let two, um, how to say, uh, let's say he has like 50 people, which is low. And one menu is uh, at least 300. I know that for a fact. It, with wines, 300. Dude, the guy makes like 15k in one fucking night, dude. With this small restaurant. Probably even more. I think he makes more. Lucian, in Lucian. one night, man. That's like one XQC stream, dude. <laughs> the stress of reputation must be crushing, though. Yeah, you always know, keeping rank one and stuff is very choice. stressful for these guys. I mean, you're not your grandmother anymore. You are yourself and you have your own cultural baggage. It's not just about good food. If you want good food, you can... You could go to my mom's place. She was an excellent cook. And she was cooking beautiful food. But the experience in Costa Rica is a different experience. That's the point about fine dining. I had to learn that too. When I went to a good restaurant for once in my life, I, I was like, Lisa, this isn't actually that good. I'd never have a McDonald's burger. The point is though about these expensive restaurants, they give you an experience, like a, like going to a movie or something. That's, I think, what you have to understand. Have big tradition, you feel comfortable. Like, obviously, this is not going to make you, but if you feel, you know? Way and you ask but it's yourself, something you will... Why do I have to boil the meat into the water? You know, because tradition told me that. Look at that, he thinks about no, that. Isn't that fucking doors. cool? Doors in which I can Thank you, walk in and uh, see things uh, from a different point of view. Massimo's different culinary point of view can be enjoyed a la carte or from a choice of two tasting menus. Yeah, they always have two menus. At 170 euros, tradition in evolution is a modern twist on regional fare. That's actually cheap. The best restaurant in the world, you can get a menu for 170. No way that's still like that. Nowadays, you have to pay 250 There's no way it's still 170 That's actually very low. 195 euros is more experimental. Hmm. By looking afresh at traditional menu. Oh. methods and recipes, Massimo celebrates them. There's a new recipe on the menu called uh, Riso and Polenta in praise of pizza. What the fuck even is this shit, dude? Look at that stuff. This is fucking art, man. And I get it, Chad. When I was young, I looked at this like, what the fuck is this trash, man? But trust me, once you eat this shit, you realize, man, holy fucking shit. A, a, a whole new world is gonna open up in your brain. What art, man? You guys are you guys are fucking Fortnite kids. You don't understand. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to, uh, yeah, okay. Sorry, Chad. Let's look, yeah. Let's go right here. I know, Chad. This is what you like. Like and subscribe. Press the bell button. Follow me on TikTok, guys. Woo! Ice cream. Wow. Look at that. Can we get some likes, guys? Make it rain likes. Woo! Come on, boys. I'm trying to make you gentlemen here. Anyway, we're playing like four, I think. I think we're playing like four. Sorry I tried to show some food culture to you guys. I'm sorry, I apologize, I take it all back. Okay, now I click on... And now the Mafia should march on Napoli. I think now we should get the march on Napoli. No majority achieved. Ma, madon! No faction of the Congress came out on top. The government is in deadlock. And for now, the country is once again thrown to chaos. By the way, I only drank one piece of water today. I need to really drink something. The March of Napoli. La Mafia take the charge. While we thought Giovanni Messi could be trusted, it seems as if we were wrong. Today, just hours after the Fourth Party Congress ended in deadlock, the general and 1,000 men attempted to take over the Capitale, fighting with Baron Ebola and who has his most radical plans on the peninsula. With our grand militia struggling to keep power to hold on to socialism in Italia, there are also rumors that Riccardo Lombardi and his fascisti movement of peasant militias are securing the city. The neo sanfedisti have also been seen marching to the north. The fighting is still intense, but the day ended with the Mafia taking charge, man. Holy shit, you become a paternal autocrat. I'm becoming Cadogano Vicini, criminal overlord. Plus five construction speed. <laughs> it's like building Las Vegas. Lega Monarchia becomes the ruling party, man. What the fuck? Oh, shit! Hey! How you doing? How you doing? I'm walking here. Hey, how you doing? Holy shit, man. Calabria Vicini. 
Gentlemen, I'm gonna get a glass of water. And once again, old man Tommy's gonna teach you something. The number one song when someone takes over the mafia is this. I see you in a second, guys. Getting a glass of water. Fucking children, I gotta teach them so much, man. Fucking hell. No god for the team. Goddamn normies, man. Ladies and gentlemen. I would say this even if it, was, if it wasn't my uncle. To our new boss. Salute. I'm not staying hydrated, man. This is the paparazzi beat from... Guys, I gotta teach you so much today. Man, Alter. Junior becomes boss scene. So you, I'm getting way too old, huh? I'm getting way too old. You don't know this scene? Tony, Junior. Okay, I'm no good at speeches. Yeah, Come on. You guys don't know this? <laughs> Shut up, Yarda. Let me talk. Go ahead. Talk. I was only kidding. Go ahead. All right, I'd like everybody to raise their glasses. Not me, it's yeah. This scene was so fucking sick back then, dude. You don't know what this is? <clears throat> Taught me as much as anybody. Except for maybe my father. Even if he wasn't my uncle. I'd still be standing here. I'd be standing here saying... Shit, I don't know the lyrics. To our new boss. Salute. And what a decision. To use exhibit paparazzi Did beat. You? In this scene, man. Isn't that genius? Junior. Fucking Did John, you? man. You guys don't know this stuff? Oh. Fake fan. What a, what a decision to use a rap beat in this scene, man, right? And Exhibit was fucking sick back then, man. Mikey Pompisi. Anyway, I'm, I'm annoying you guys today a bit, right? But I think you need that. As, as your father, internet father, I gotta fucking teach you a bit. Well, I'm La Mafia. Calgero Vicini. Few criminals in the world have ever reached such renowned status as Calogero Vicini. His operations in Sicily being enough to topple a standing government and put South Italy under the control of a ruthless crime syndicate. Yet, despite Calogero Vicini in famous status with the Mafia, he carries himself as a gentleman who only resorts to violence when he needs to and respects the people under his care. To some, he is a man of, of honor. To others, of honor. I think that's a typo. To others, he's a ruthless boss, but regardless, his power over the South is large, and the Mafia over his fiefdom is nearly absolute, the power over the Mafia. The South is governed by crime, even if Vicini can conduct his operations in a somewhat legal matter. Com command economy? That's actually, that's kind of a nice economy. Wait, that's actually a good economy. I'm giving no resources out. Command economy? Look, like this is the fucking Mafia, man. This is actually, this guy looks like from the Mafia, man. What the fuck? So we have Neo Sandefitisti activity. Very, it's gone soon. A bunch of people are mad. Army resistance also removed soon, and Armata Rossa just a bonus. And La Mafia rules the South. Is our thing. La cosa nostra. Mikey Pomisi versus Ralphie for title of the biggest piece of shit in Sopranos. I think Ralphie wins that because if you listen to the podcast and the writers, uh, Ralphie was actually designed to be literally the devil, man. There's a lot of things indicating that the Mafia State, baby, the Third International. I'm going to the international. I'm not playing Dota yet. Ah! Okay, let's get the mafia focus in a sec. Commanding. Also fully trained. Training for Ecuador was so badly right now. Yeah, fuck it, Tar. Let's stop talking about the World Cup. Think for stuff. I don't want to talk. When you play Nazi Germany, when you be a fucking intelligent human being, biggest piece of shit in Sopranos is Tony Soprano. Deep, deep man. Deep, very deep man. KDP wins Russian election. The Senate, market liberals. Imagine that, bro. I'm so bad at this game. Well, play it more, man. You got this. You got this. Come on, man. Don't be pussy. No bitching to me. Good shit. Let's see the Mafia Focus stream. I'm excited. Gotta kill the North, right? I don't want to be in the International, though. I want to do my own shit. Have you played the Sopranos game? <laughs> Legendary donkey video, man. 
Request French. Malta is independent. Okay. Today is an opportunity for our representatives at the Congress of the Third National to put forward their case for what and request international support for our unification. Ah, I'm asking France to help me. I don't want France's help. I can do this my own. I don't need no help. And there's a new Pope. The only Pope I see is the fucking dawn of the house, man. This is creepy, man. I'm getting odds about potential careers. Hey, tell me, if you want to unify Italy fast, you should invade wait first France. <laughs> oh, man. What are we going to do with the first 150? What are we going to do about it? I'm walk. I still have a lot of. Fo Why do I stop these focuses? These focuses should actually be gone, shouldn't they? The mafia state. The mob's grip on former social republic has become absolute. The crumbling government of Napoli now sits no more, and the mafia has uncontested the rule, man. We're literally playing America here. Oh, shit. Organize. Organize and line the bosses. Nation of intimidation. Oh, shit. Infinite weekly stability. I don't know what? Holy shit. Many of our opponents are still roaming around with a false sense of security. The rebel rousers will be shut up soon enough with one of our old tricks. Good old intimidation tactics. Reminds me of a good old game, man, when I was a kid, man, called uh, Gangsters. Gangs of New York. They don't make games like this anymore. And don't say Omata. Gangsters. Gangs of New York. That game was so sick, man. I miss a game like this. Nay, uh, Gangsters. The game. What was that shit called? Nah, 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 nah. G Gangsters. What's that called? Video game? Gangsters. Does anyone know what the fuck I'm even talking about, though? I'm just such an old man. Was it this one? Nah. No, was it this one? Yeah, there it is. This fucking game. Yeah, you guys. I'm just such an old man. This game, man, you'll never see it again. Uh, I was too young to play it for this shit, though. What happens in this game is... You make your own character, right? <laughs> the fuck I uh, you, you make your name and stuff in the gang blah 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 but i really believe no joke man that the um last name gangsta wow you fucking muppet man <laughs> and uh what they what this game does let me show you now look this is fucking sick dude so i want to show you guys i want to show you so it looks weird but I imagine this game in 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 nowadays so you have a city right you have a big city this is like a city it's it's an old game okay and the city has, like, a, a headquarter. It has certain shops and stuff. It has uh, marketplaces. And you are the mafia, and you're slowly growing. You have to hire people. You have to grow your territory. But there's also other people. You have to do assassinations. You have to bribe people. You have... Uh, every character is an RPG. You can give them items and stuff, man. It was so good, man. Yeah, you... Like, you have to hire people, and you can give them missions and stuff. Like, and every day is one round, and you have to send them out to take over territory and, and connect money and stuff. And it was no bullshit, right? Not like Empire of Sin with fucking with fucking special abilities. It was just really real. No bullshit built look and you see he's spreading his territory now. He took over the school the school? The fuck he took over the school. And he's getting cars and shit. And there's uh, there's a uh, zoom in mode. There was a zoom in mode, yeah. And I always miss a game like this. A strategic mafia game where you build up the mafia, man. Looks like a mobile game. It's from nineteen ninety eight. You complete fucking Muppet man. I, w I wish a game like this would happen. And I had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of uh, hope for Empire of Sin, which became the worst game of all times. Twenty twenty one. That looks that looks so mobile gamey though. Hmm. Mafia management tycoon. Hey. Huh. Huh. It's a bit weird, but... Huh. By the way, guys, do you know the best Mafia game of all times? Dude, today, I feel like the oldest man ever. Everything I talk about is just old man stuff. Do you guys want to see the greatest Mafia game of all times? Mafia? No, no, no. This is the greatest Mafia game of all times. This is the greatest Mafia game of all times, man. Pizza Syndicate, man. That game... Bruh. I played this game so much as a kid. You, you had to build your own restaurant. You could do everything you wanted, man. You built your own pizzas, your own restaurant, <laughs> FIFA. And then you joined the Mafia and you had to kill... Yeah, you had the Mafia stuff. 
And you had this. Is, <laughs> I'm a truly old fuck. I love this game. You had to completely build your own restaurant, man. How old are you? 50? Oh, fuck, man. You guys are fucking me over, man. You guys are fucking me over. Can I get... I can't, I can't get any industry bonuses. What should I take, man? Can I actually take... Oh, I should probably take an army command. Army offense, yes. With a bold attack and professional army corps. Actually, get army speed here. Yeah. Um, army logistics. Some air probably makes some sense later. Okay, good. This game came in a cereal box. I think later this. Here's another game called Tell Tycoon. Uh, that's more like about Colombia. Nah, I'm more like like New York Mafia, but very good reviews, man. Holy shit. This game is kind of new. Interesting, man. Interesting. But I'm more like about, you know, urban mafia and not fucking Coca-Cola, La Plata, o Plomo. I tried the new pizza game. Uh, it was one of my first sponsorships ever on the stream many years ago. It was so shit, man. It was such a bad game. Condemn the Pope. Hmm. Uh, Conclave has elected the Pope as the head of the Catholic Church, and uh, the Mafia likes the likes uh, likes the likes the priest, right? And thus the ruler of Northern Italy. We should condemn him as a potential danger to our nation. But the majority of our people are Catholic. Get to terms with him. I don't want to lose BP, man. I'm trying to become terms with the old man. Oh, shit, man. Can you play next time Kaiser Saudi Arabia to challenge and cool focus with Abdul Aziz? Maybe when you sub. If you're sponsored, would you talk bad about a game? If you're sponsored, would you talk bad about a game if it's bad? Yeah, in most sponsorship agreements, it even says you're allowed to have a, a normal critique about a game. For example, when Paradox sponsored me, it says I'm allowed to say, well, oh, this is kind of buck, this is kind of shit. But not go like, you know, fuck this game, don't buy it, you know. Malta joined the Rice Pact. I don't like that. Thank you, Apple Flopper. Are you winning, son? I feel very old today, man. Everything I talk about on the stream is like old people shit. All these young viewers are like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Can you just play the game? <clears throat> Tell me when you're gonna play the Great War mod again. Uh, when I find a cool nation to play in it, man. You know, you know, man, you know. I wanna play some Doctite tonight. The first Sif is coming, man. We're finally gonna have a gambling and prostitution. Is there anyone older than Tommy here? There's some old fox in this channel, yeah. But they're scared of talking in chat because you zoomers are just intimidating them. Did you play the Godfather game? No, no. Cook the Eta in Siam, man. I, I know that Armchair Story made a game, yeah. I know, I know. Everyone is making games nowadays. I listen to Tommy K podcast, no joke. I feel like this channel is a podcast. I don't do any content anymore. I just fucking talk shit all the time. You played France in the World War mod. That seems too easy, I'd say. Did you play Mafia? I played all the Mafias on stream. It was really fun. The favorite is out! The favorite is out. And we're gonna intimidate everyone. The white son over China. What the fuck I care about China? Come on! I'm walking here. I want to show an Italy video. You know what I kind of want to watch right now? I mean, we're in full ADHD mode. I'm kind of interested, man. I'm kind of... What's the time? I'm kind of interested, man. I'm kind of interested, baby. Ottoman Empire is an amazing great war mod. Very hot. I already played that literally last week. Belarus War. Written is good in the Great War mod. No, it's too easy. Majors are too easy, man. Thank you, Kagan, for winning, man. Thank you, dude. Majors are too easy, bro. You make 40 whips in green air and you win. I want small nations that are hard, man. That's what I'm looking for. Are you going to bet on any World Cup games? No. Anyone who has a soul doesn't support this shitty World Cup. What country do you think has the most beer consumption? Isn't that Czechs or some shit? Nation Busan treaties is that uh, Japan takes over Korea. Pro pro protection rackets. Minus free consumer goods and even more stability. The mafia makes the country super stable, man. <laughs> Racketeering is one of the mafia's oldest sources of illegitimate. illegitimate income. Now that we are in charge of our own state, we can make these protection, pr protection rackets a national source of income. English, man. English baby. Maybe Japan Great War has no focus tree. Play random Central American nation. No focus tree. Sweden has a focus tree. Hmm, interesting. Here's a video about some good ass food. We're kinda over that, man. Maybe the 2k of people in the sea help disability. 
Maybe the 2k of people in the sea helps the stability. What? What? So basically we're creating taxes. Kind of indicating the taxes are a mafia thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Shit, I kind of want to watch this. History of the American Mafia. I'm fucking dead interested, man. I want to finish one more focus and then watch that. Yeah, I think that was a joke about 2,000 people dying in the Mediterranean? Could you maybe elaborate when you set your food tour? Or and if I have to ban you? The Mafia throwing the bodies in the sea. Ah, okay, he saved himself. He saved himself. He saved himself. Clutch move. Thank you, Kira Shigai. Kira Shigai. Still have no fucking industry, though, man. At least Texas go back into service, though. <laughs> good one, nah. Good one, good one. Good one. Anyway, the nation of intimidation, man. Playing Russia over here. I got the deconstruzione. Mille grazie. I think when I finish this focus, I want to watch that documentary, man. Would it make more sense watching the origins of Sicilian, Sicilian Mafia? American Mafia is so much more cool than Sicilian Mafia. No one cares about this. We want to talk about the departed, Goodfellas, the Irishman, the Godfather, you know? That's what we care about. That's what we want to see. Russia isn't intimidating. Well, now I have a weird feeling that you don't actually live in Russia. I no longer have armed resistance. Dude, the Mafia is fixing this country. Cockland. Ensuring loyalty. The Mafia's iron grip over the South Italy is almost uncontested, yet a brave few still there to oppose us. What? You gotta sleep with the fishes! Several local towns still stand up to our protection rackets, and socialists and fascist strongholds resist our rule. Luckily, these are nothing but inconveniences. Mm. He's not texting me. He's sleeping right now. You can stream another 45 minutes? Let's also get a burger. Okay, sure. 45 minutes, so I can watch this right now, and then we just keep playing. Yep. Today is a weird stream. Actually, I lost viewers. Dude, when I was just talking about food, I had 1.5k. I go back to 4.2k. People want to just see my food opinions. I fucking knew it all the time. You want to see Tommy reaction. The Italian mafia was birthed out of the Carbonara, who were rebels against the Austrian and Ro and Croatian into Italy. Did you play El Capone and Kaiserreich? No, I have not. Mao Mao, the Jackals of Kenya. Reaction meta. Well, we're going to react in a second. Just want to finish, finish the focus real quick. To have closure, you know. Closure, man. Oh, I can make another uh, blackjack table somewhere. How about uh, home? How do you say home in Italian? Home. Mia home. I should know what home means in Italian. Casa, casa. 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 And casa ma means mom. I'm a bit off today, guys. I don't know. I'm a bit off. Casa is house, not home. Homo? My father can sub goal. I have too many sub goals going on, man. Sancta Lucia. Opinion on Darktide? Darktide is sick, man. It's a very good game. And people complaining are just bitches. There's no term for home. How do you sound Italian? I'm going home. I'm going where I sleep and eat. I'm going home. Mio go alla ma casa. Vado a casa. Vado a casa. So casa is home, you could say. Vado a casa. <laughs> I like when I ask you guys what something means in a language and people give me three different answers. Romani ite domum. Sto andando a casa. La pizza, la pasta, la casa. You should play StarCraft, StarCraft, bigger Warcraft. You should just suck your own dick. Gentlemen, I'm doing reaction stream because I am weird lately, man.